It's certainly been a nice change of pace over the last few months to see COVID and vaccine numbers in Idaho trending in the right direction. Encouraging to see increasing vaccine numbers, decreasing case counts, especially compared to where we were a year ago. The Gem State, though, still has, well, a ways to go. About 52% of Idahoans 18 and over have had at least one COVID vaccine dose, leading to questions about the circulation of the virus. Experts have said for months the vaccines available, well, they're highly effective, and it's recommended that a large majority of people do get it. As Idaho medical experts tell Joe Paris, recent numbers on the case count front fully illustrate the benefits of getting a COVID vaccine. Plain truth, we got a long way to go in getting more complete community coverage. Despite a widely available vaccine, Idaho is seeing one of the lowest vaccine rates among adults in the country. Idaho is currently just under 50% of our adult population being fully vaccinated, which admittedly is 10% points below the national average. Um, and we see higher vaccination rates among older adults than young adults and teens. And Frankly, it varies considerably by community. Deputy State Epidemiologist Dr. Katherine Turner says there is a data point that clearly shows why it's so important to get a vaccine. Vaccine status of recent COVID cases and deaths. Nearly all of the deaths since January 1st have been among people who are not fully vaccinated when they become ill. And um, more specifically, since May 1st, looking at our data, 95% of all the deaths are among people for whom we have no record of them being fully vaccinated before their illness onset. It's really important that anybody out there that got their first shot and then didn't follow up to get their second, they need to get their second one, especially with Delta. Dr. David Pate is an Idaho medical expert and retired CEO of the St. Luke's Health System. Pate says with studies showing increasing cases of the more contagious COVID Delta variant in our region, getting fully vaccinated is crucial, especially for people that are fully embracing weaker COVID protocols. Things that people got away with, and unfortunately, I, I think this may have emboldened some people that, you know, they were out with other people, they never got infected to their knowledge, and they may be thinking, well, the same thing's going to happen. That's not necessarily true with Delta. With concerns about Idaho vaccine rates and new variants, the GEM state is reporting very few breakthrough cases. Those are confirmed cases of COVID in people that are fully vaccinated. Now, experts say that fact is another reason why they're encouraging anyone eligible to get vaccinated. It's less than 0.05% of, um, you know, all of the people that have um, received the vaccine have ended up um, becoming infected. To see that we're having rare breakthrough cases, not the least bit surprising. In fact, the only thing I'm surprised about is that we're not seeing more than we are, which I think is another signal that this vaccine is highly, highly effective, uh, really surprisingly so. Experts say if you're enjoying fewer COVID restrictions and you're not vaccinated, the best way to help continue that is to get the vaccine if you're eligible. Simply put, every vaccinated person helps the greater cause in the battle against COVID. Would we like to see higher vaccine rates? Absolutely, um, because the variability among people choosing to receive the vaccine means that we'll continue to see hot spots of transmission. We'll see clusters popping up. Certainly what we've learned with this Delta variant is that uh, unlike the previous ones, where one shot gave you quite a bit of protection, we're not seeing nearly so much protection with only one shot of the two shot series. The bottom line is that a vast majority of the deaths, hospitalizations and cases since May 1st have been among people who have no record of being fully vaccinated. Vast majority. We were talking or you just mentioned 18 and older when you talk about vaccines. It's approved for 12 and above. What are we talking about when it comes to 12 and under? Right, so we're still waiting for a vaccine or even a test vaccine to come out for people under the age of 12. And when I was talking with Dr. Pate earlier today, the hope is that as we get closer to the fall, maybe towards September, Brian, there will be a vaccine available or at least something with emergency use authorization. Until then, though, uh, people who are not able to get the vaccine, i.e. those under the age of 12, they don't have the same protect protection as the people over the age of 18. So, Brian, uh, health experts are saying if you have kids and you're not vaccinated, they say they really recommend you getting it to protect them, continuing to mask if not, because the bottom line is the virus is still out there and children are susceptible to it. So they're asking families to do everything they can to make sure kids stay healthy, especially heading into the school year. And we're still learning a lot about it as time moves on. All right. Thank you very much, Joe.